Hi Etsy, this is Grace Power with my Pink Wink and with the Luxury Magnetic Lashes. I wanted to just demonstrate to you that these lashes are handmade. Each of them is special and different. I believe that they follow all the guidelines on the Etsy policies for being a handmade, very unique product. Um, I'm constantly changing and updating the designs and bringing new designs to market. So I just wanted to do this video to um, demonstrate some of the behind the scenes to prove that this is not your run-of-the-mill out of China lashes. So um, here um, on display I have a lot of different lashes that I've made over the last couple years. Um, this is sort of just what's left in stock of some of the different um, inventory uh, styles that I've tried. Some of them I only made one of, some of them I may have made like 20 or 30 of, and then this is just what's left over of those different styles. Majority of the lashes that I sell are um, human hair. It's the 747 lash and I do it in different lengths and also in black and brown and a brown black. Um, Though that's just my main style, but I've occasionally gotten different lashes and tried different styles just for different eye widths, for different occasions. Um, just people like different things with their with their lashes. Um, you can see some of the different logos I've done too. Um, they're all the same, you know, it's all me, but we were called Made With Ginger. Then I went to Luxury Magnetic Lashes and then I opened a shop called Sugar Lash Salon um, close to my home, and so I was also using that brand. Down here, this is my most popular lash style. Um, when people come into the shop and I fit them, this one just tends to be the, the first one I go to, and almost all the time people go, yep, that's the one, I love it. So I have the black extra short, um, and then the black short. I call it starter lashes because it's two magnets and the two magnets is just easier to work with when you're first starting out but surprisingly it fits most eye widths so um, a lot of people only need the two magnets they wouldn't need necessarily a wider lash. Now these are definitely our top sellers right now because very few companies are making a brown eyelash and no companies are making as nice of an eye, a brown eyelash um, that's going to hold up. This is human hair. It's very sturdy. Um, it looks very natural and I have the two lengths um, short and extra short that are the most popular lengths. Now over in the cabinet um, I have more styles. Um, the cat eye is let me open this up so you can see a little better. The cat eye is um, one that I'm going to um, go out of stock with eventually. It's not um, my favorite one. I'm not going to keep it in stock, but I do have two, pretty much two styles with that. Yeah, here's one of the styles. So this one has three magnets. It's one inch wide across the eye. And then this one is two magnets. Um, that's a three quarter inch across the eye. These lashes here are the long human hair lashes. Um, those are also fairly popular. People like the long lashes, especially for stage or um, just special occasions. Now this wispy lash, I have two different styles um, right now. This one I'm going to um, go out of stock as soon as I sell out. I only have maybe uh, 40 left. And then this one is the one that I really like. I'll probably continue this one. Um, I just really like it. So that is that. These are all magnetic eyelashes. And then down here is the medium length, one inch wide across. I would leave a few extra hair tufts so they are customizable. I've just found that that works really well so people can adjust them to their specific perfect eye width. And sometimes they can leave a little um, extra hair tuft. This is the most popular one inch lash. This is black short and it's great for every day and someone who has a wide eye um, or I mean even kind of a normal sized eye but one inch across is um, you know wider uh, maybe it's like average I guess 
it's average eye. I mean, one inch, can, a lot of people can wear, but I'm just finding that the three quarter inch fits a lot of people too. Now over here, again, is just more brown lashes. <clears throat> um, I do sell quite a lot of these um, because, again, I'm like one of the only brown lashes on the market. Um, and this is definitely the top seller right now, the extra short brown. People are just looking for a natural looking lash, um, but that's magnetic that they don't have to use glue to put on. Um, and then back here, I have medium. I have short here, um, and then this is long. This is a different style that I only made a few of. The magnets are just set a little differently with two tiny magnets on the outer side and then a longer magnet in the middle. Um, I It's not my favorite lash. This one was one I was really liking, but it doesn't hold unless people have pretty thick natural lashes. So I'm also phasing this particular style out, but have one left of that. And then of course the applicators are not really gonna get into that, but I really wanna get the lashes approved um, for being handmade. But the applicators are again, something that it looks like maybe we just bought it like this, but we didn't. We bought it um, as a tweezer and then we modified it. We had to break it in half with a metal cutter. We um, filed down the ends to be soft and smooth. Then we covered the end with like a waxy black material and also cut the tip because the nap, the way it was made, it's too, um, too much of a curve. So we cut it and made it the right size for what we need it for. And so anyways, I would like to get the applicators approved. Obviously that's handmade. I mean, <laughs> we did take a, a different um, tweezer, but we had to modify it to be a, a magnetic lash applicator tool. So it's we've got magnetic paint on it. We're writing the R and the L for right and left. Um, I don't think it looks so pretty, but it works and it's functional and that's kind of the main thing people were looking for. Um, so I do have some other lash applicator tools, but um, right now I just really would like to get our lashes approved for being handmade. I'm going to just show you um, one of the lash stations that I'm working on right now. This, this is a foam ink lash, and because it's the holidays, I'm going to make some more of these, but it is one that I plan to continue with. You can't really see what it looks like right now, um, <clears throat> but that's what it looks like when I'm putting it um, on the on the, um, the tray to uh, apply the magnets. Um, I know that in one of the emails they were saying, you know, you don't you don't approve things that are just assembled, but not actually made. But this is definitely more than assembling it. I mean, I have to mark um, the measurements one by one. This is the one inch where I would do three magnets one inch apart, um, and that's what I. These are the markings I do for the top lash, and then I flip it over and I have the markings that I do for the bottom lash. Um, on there because the top and bottom are a little bit different so that the lash curves and we're the only company that does that that I know of um, and again that's why we should be on Etsy because no people can't find these lashes you know anywhere else except for from us um, and then this is the three-quarter inch so even when I'm doing the three-quarter inch I have to decide do I want it a shorter lash and if I do then I'm going to go towards the inner eye if I wanted a longer lash I'll come towards the outer eye and then cut off the excess and then again the bottom has different measurements so I use that to mark where I'm going to lay the magnets. Um, the magnets are super super tiny so this is not an easy task. I've trained other people to do this and uh, several of them do not last a week or even a day. Um, they just can't handle these tiny magnets and the details of this work. So again <laughs> please approve these for um, being a handmade product. Um, so since I just have the camera um, and I'm holding it, I don't know how I'm gonna really show you um, how I do this, but um, uh, let me see what I can do here. I wonder if I can just set it here. Let me just check. I think you, you might be able to see. Let me put that in front. 
Okay, I just want to kind of demonstrate a little bit of what I'm doing. Yeah, that should, hopefully that kind of gives you enough of an example. So, all right, so it's taken a while to find tweezers that work um, with these baby little magnets. And these are, these magnets are something new. Um, I've been using now for, gosh, maybe four or five months, but before that it was a thicker magnet and I still have lashes that have the thicker magnet I'm trying to sell, um, sell out of. So those are on clearance, discounted, trying to sell. So one thing that's very, um, uh, technical about working with magnets is that the polarity of it and making sure that you don't put a magnet in the wrong place um, and then have it flip. So um, again, let me just mark these, mark this where I'm going to set these. Okay, so I'm going to go here, here, here. And just for the sake of time, I'm not going to go into both lashes right now. I just want to kind of demonstrate some of this stuff. Okay, now I've also, um, trial and error, have a glue now that I feel does a really good job. Um, but, you know, the goal is that the magnets stay on for multiple uses and don't fall off. Um, hopefully never fall off, but definitely that people get like a month or two or three out of their lash before ever having problems with their magnets. So, um, what I found works with putting the magnets on is dipping the magnet in a tiny bit of glue and then just putting, putting on the, the magnet. Now I've also, these are, these are done one by one individually. So one magnet, if it's slightly out of place, um, will ruin the whole lash. Um, I found that it helps to put the magnet a teensy bit below the, the line, the eyelash line, so that it's not rubbing on the eyelid. Now again, these are things that I don't know how other companies are doing their lashes. Um, I just know that these, no one's doing it like this. Like this is my own method. It's being perfected, you know, every month as I keep making more, as I keep finding maybe other products or tweezers or um, glue or anything that might make the process easier or better, the quality of the lash better. Um, so, and then I will point out that I'm using the magnet so that these are going to, this polarity is going to be on the top. Um, when I do the bottom magnets on this lash, they have to be the opposite for the, for the magnets to grab. Um, if I put them on and they're both the same polarity, they're going to repel and the lash will not work. Sometimes that happens and you just have to throw away the lash. Um, usually just because the glue I'm using is so super strong and I've gotten so, um, gotten a really good glue that it's rare that I'll be able to like rip off a magnet once it's glued down. These, this, these are really well glued. I do do a double layer of glue, um, because I don't want to lose the magnet and I found that when I just did one um, dip of glue it wasn't strong enough to hold up as long as I want them to hold up. So again putting these on making sure that lash is straight. Um, the metal below the lash does help hold that magnet in place that's one of my little secrets um, compared to applying this without that metal underneath. Um, just trying to get that in place there. I don't want it to roll. And then there is a little bit of gl glue. I'm just going to kind of try to swipe it. I don't want to bump on there. Okay, now the underlash. So I have these set. So one is my top polarity, one's my bottom polarity. There is a tiny little magnet here that tells me if this um, stack is here, that's going to be the right um, polarity. So I'm pulling that off. Um, taking one at a time.
and putting this along the bottom. Now remember the measurements on the bottom are slightly different from the top because we want the lash to curve. Okay, now this bottom lash, because it's not, um, I guess because it's more flat than that top, I'm not having to hold it as long and that bottom uh, magnetic pad underneath is holding that magnet in place. Um, so this is going a little faster than the top part. Right. Again, there's just a little bubble of glue here. Let's smooth that out. Okay, so now I'm going to, um, well, I'll tell you a couple more steps. Um, after this process that the magnets are glued on, this has to sit on for quite a long time. Um, sometimes I leave it for a whole day once it's like that, but definitely uh, an hour, I would say, at, at minimum. Um, then I'm going to pick, the, pick them up. I'm going to put a dab, another layer of glue on the edge, the top edge, so that it seals the magnet on there even stronger and those magnets are not going to fall off easily. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is trim the excess. So anything that's outside this um, magnet here, I'll trim off most of that, if not all of that. It depends on the lash style. The bottom I will trim completely um, to the edge of that magnet. I, I just like how that looks. So anyways, lots of different ways to do these. Um, but I do want to demonstrate the curvature because that is one thing that's signature about our lashes. Okay, these ones are already put together. So this is a good example. Okay, so these lashes, as you can see, when they come together, there is a curve to them. They don't lay flat. And the only way to acquire that or get that result is by hand applying the magnets one by one with specific measurements so that they don't lay flat. When we were doing these little tiny magnets, which I still might do something like this, um, but might do more of a modified like this, like to have one log magnet. I'm just finding that holds on better. But it's even more crucial that you get those um, magnets perfect. Oh, this was another, this is my holiday lashes. Um, I just got done with these. Uh, these are one inch foam ink. This is the 3D. And this is a two magnet. I gave extra hair tufts, but they'll, they'll probably trim those down um, depending on the eye. But anyways, those are kind of fun. And then one back here. Um, this is the one that I'm making right now. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. Um, the ones that I showed on the table. And then this is a different one that I really, really love too. But I'm out of stock. It's my last one of that. So anyways, I hope that you found this video enlightening. Um, if nothing else, that um, it just helps describe the very details of the lashes. I mean, I could actually go through every single one of these and explain why they're different, what's different about them, um, just lots of details. I'm trying to see if there's that one. So this one is very unique. Um, this was a style that we were trying out and I'll show you why it's so special. Okay, so here's the lash. Let me see if I can do this. And the top is just a little magnet. So this is a different style where we put on the top a little baby magnet. Now this might be something that we'll do more of, but right now this is the only one that we have in this style. And then on top of the magnet, it's really hard to see, is another little hair tuft. It's not zooming in, but anyways, what we did, it looks very nice. Um, we 
took one little hair tuft and glued it on top in the middle to even to help disguise those magnets more. So, and then those, that's when we were doing like the thicker magnet. So, um, that's why we had to disguise it more. Now we have the thinner magnet and they're, they're better. So this was another one that was those tiny little magnets. Now, when we do the tiny magnets, we have to break the magnets because they come wide and we have to, um, cut them. So again, handmade, handmade, very detailed, um, take forever to make. But I love making them. I love bringing these to women. I love wearing them myself. Um, they are truly one of a kind. Each one is one of a kind. And once we sell out of a certain style, it's no guarantee that they're gonna remain. Like that's how special these are. Um, some of them uh, we won't carry again. We just, you know, may maybe do 10 of them and then that's it. So those lucky 10 people get those those ones. And we are finding, you know, ones that are better than others and the ones that people like more, of course, those are going to be the ones we keep in stock. So um, anyways, please re-enlist our, our lashes. Allow us to put our lashes on Etsy, um, especially for the holiday shoppers. I would love that. Thank you for watching this and please let me know what the next steps are to get this approved. Thank you. Bye.